Hey y'all, so as you can see, the title of this video is doing an equity scheduling booking site revamp. Um, it's something I just learned how to do and I was super geeked about it. So I decided to do a video on it just because I didn't see any when I was trying to learn how to do it and nobody really wanted to say um, how you can do this, how you can upgrade your booking site. So once I finally learned, I was like, you know what, let me do a quick video on how to do one. So I just decided to do one on lashes. I don't know why, I just chose something random. And as you can see, I use Canva Pro. You have to use Canva Pro. If you want to do it through Canva, you have to have the Pro. Um, and so, yep, so I used the Instagram story um, outline. And I started with a black background, as you can see. I'm just adding some stuff. I'm just coming up with something. It's not going to be too extravagant. Nothing extra. We just, I'm just wanting to do the basics. Just to give everybody an idea. You can decorate it and design it however you want. But this is just what I chose. Um, so basically, I'm just putting the outline of everything you need for your book inside. Um, so first, we're going to do the payments. Then I have policies, um, cancellations. Um, and you can add as many things as you want. Everybody's policies and booking site are always completely different. This is just, to me, a basic one. Um, basically, everything that you need. And don't mind my voice, y'all. I am sick. I've been sick for a while. I just want to put this video out, so don't mind me. And I'm not going to put no information um, underneath the subtitles and everything just because I'm just doing an outline. And all the thing about it is I already did my book insight revamp and I just didn't record it. So that's why I wanted to do something really quick um, just to show how you can do it through Canva Pro. So I'm not going to put no information or anything underneath of the little headings. I'm just doing an outline. And I put the little diamonds and stuff underneath. Uh, you can, you don't have to do that. You can remove them. It just depends on how far your information goes down. Um, but I just wanted to put something at the bottom because I didn't want it to be too plain. And you, I don't like it once you put it in to equity because you have to stack them. How it looks, you can tell that at times that it's stacked. So that's why I try to put like something at the bottom if I do have space.
So now I'm just trying to decorate it. Y'all didn't know what I was doing. I just wanted to add something cute, some decorations. I did want some last extensions, um, like the utensils and all that stuff, something on here, just to make it cuter, make it pop out just a little bit. So right, I was basically just trying to figure out my placement, figure out everything that I wanted to use. Um, I've seen this one under, um, on Canva and I really wanted to use it. I just didn't know where to place it. So I ended up not using it on this first page, but I do end up using it eventually on one of the other pages and you'll see. I just could not find a good placement on here. So I forgot to add my location. Um, you can really add it wherever you like. I just threw it somewhere um, on the first page, just so, of course, it gives your clients, your customers, an exact spot where you are. And I didn't put like a direct location or anything. I just put Saginaw, Michigan, because that's where I'm from. And yeah, just left it at that. Now we're on the last page, and this page is just basically thanking um, the clients, customers for booking. Um, it's basically going to have the contact information, how to get in touch with me, quote unquote, um, how to connect with me on social media, what sites I use, and all that. And I'm just going to freestyle this page as well. It's going to be quick and simple and just getting straight to the point. You know what I just thought about since I could have added? I just thought about it last minute. I could have added a section on like lash care or something like how to take care of your lash extensions um, once your appointment is over, when you should book a fill-in, etc. So I should have did something like that, like a little segment. Dang, I just thought about that. All right, whatever. We'll do it next time. So for the picture on the phone, I just put my Instagram just because um, I'm a nail tech, but whatever, so what? Just put it just because, just put something there so it's not plain, and you can see how you add something um, to the phone, to the screens, and it automatically fits it. And basically, we're pretty much done with the pages now. So now I'm about to show you how to upload them to Equity, and then what it looks like afterwards.
So now I'm just vlogging into mine's. Um, and this is basically how mine's look. So one of the things that I did learn, you have to change your booking from daily to monthly um, in order for it to work. I don't know why. And then I forgot to save it. So when you do save it from Canva, save it under JPG and turn up the quality of the pictures. As you can see, I did um, save it as PNG and trying to upload it. It does cause some problems at times. It just depends. So just to avoid that, um, I just saved mine under JPG, turn up the quality, and then um, I'm all good. So I'm not gonna actually upload them just because mine is on here. But once you go to equity, go to your settings and all of that, you can, you'll can you click on a little picture to upload. You can choose either small, medium, large. Um, at first I was doing medium until I just uploaded it as large and it worked um, and didn't look bad at all. So you can upload it as large and then make sure to click all the pictures and center them. And then once you save it, this is how it should look and this is my actual booking site.